Many times a lot of impressive things are done in Blender but few people get to see them. So today let me do my part of sharing some of the most satisfying renders of this week. I watched these demos and they changed my day so I asked Chad DPT to write a poem about these renders and I was blown away. A poem about 3D renders. Behold the beauty of a world unknown, a place of pixels and light alone. As that sinks in, let's continue ranking these satisfying 3D demos from artists around the web. Number one, food scans by Polygon. At number one, we have this suspicious looking peach fruit. I must say, whoever did this knew exactly what they were doing. They had hundreds of fruits to choose from and different angles to take, but still chose these. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm just taking time to appreciate and recognize another man of culture here. Bravos, Team Polygon, your textures are great, but your fruits are thicker. At number two, it's Max Punish's turn to give us our daily dose of nostalgia by bringing back this 2000s Too Fast and Furious vibe. When Fast and Furious was about cars, low rides, the vibrant car paints, and sport rims. He really nailed the look with this one. I also like the post processing he did. He added chromatic aberration and color correction to give the effect that this was taped on a tape recorder. Nice. He also has a different version with different cars. Number 3 Stunning View City A tree hang puts my years of Blender experience to shame. When I first saw this, I thought it was a trailer for some Netflix show, but no, this was him just showing off his mastery of Blender. What an incredible render. The level of detail and visionary he used is just on another level of satisfaction. I'm not rating these renders, but if I was, this would get a 12 out of 10 satisfaction rating. He also gives us a sneak peek behind the scene or behind the render in this case and break down the artwork to show that there were no, no tricks to fool you. This is just hours and hours of hard work. You look left, right, top, bottom, everywhere you will find detail. It doesn't say in the post but he must be using 3.5 with viewport compositing and this is rendered in EV by the way so be double impressed. At number 4 we have Kosian Viz. I added this one in here hoping that you clever blender experts could tell me how Kosian Viz did this. If you know let me know in the comments. These look like planes with textures and a normal map to capture light, but the effect looks more pronounced than what you get with normal maps. You can see some self shadowing in some areas which you never get with normal maps. So let me know if you know how this was done and uh, I'll be very very grateful. At number 5 we get Wu Tian King. Every time you think you are now a blender expert, someone like Wu Tian King comes along to prove you wrong. He created his own ink brush using geometry nodes and demonstrated its use case using it on this cut model which is rigged and ready to use in a game engine. I would love to see a game with this design aesthetic. At number 6, as we look at these Blender demos, it is important to remind ourselves that the goal of Blender is to be as good if not better than all the other 3D programs. Since the introduction of geometry nodes to Blender, questions like is geometry nodes as good as Houdini yet have been asked. Or well, here are some demos done in Houdini for comparison and you can be the judge. Poem about 3D renders. Behold the beauty of a world unknown, a place of pixels and light alone, a realm of form yet not quite real, a space where art and tech reveal, a vision born of minds so bright, a dream that's crafted into sight, a masterpiece, a work of art, a creation from a digital heart. Through chord and keystrokes it was made, a 3D render that will never fade, a world that's born with a screen, its colors dance in perfect hue, a world that's only in our minds but that we can truly find, where limits do not bind, where art and tech are intertwined. So let us gaze upon this scene, a 3D render, a digital dream, a vision born of ones and zeros, a work of art that never slows. That was beautiful. If you want to create impressive art and meet client deadlines, make sure to take advantage of resources like Simply Materials. It's a library of different fabric materials. Never start a project from scratch 
unless if it's really really necessary otherwise you will never meet deadlines so if you want clothes or cloth materials make sure to check out simply material which is a library of different fabrics and with uh, 4k textures just look at how much detail you're getting from these uh, materials and uh, everything has been done for you you just have to slap them onto your character and if you don't have clothes for your character the maker of simply material also his has another add-on called simply cloth which is a cloth generator that you can use to generate clothes it has this template that you can use uh, to create to simulate a jacket i has more templates like this you can see trousers uh, a lot of different templates uh, that you can use to dress up your character so try out these add-ons and uh, let me know what you think and another add-on that uh, i know you're going to need for sure uh, because if you're creating outside environments you're going to need clouds cloudscapes is a library of cloud vdbs and are different types of uh, vdbs uh, that you can just drag and drop into your scene and scatter to make a complete sky you can see they have different uh, types of clouds cyro cumulus cyro status stratus and everything and it also works with a uh, geoscatter so you can use it to scatter other clouds and uh, make your perfect uh, sky uh, as you can see from the demo so all links are going to be provided in the description and uh, let me know what you think thank you for watching if you want to learn more about these creators all the links are going to be added in the description and uh, i'll see you in the next video